Hello, and welcome to Ascension St. John Hospital Internal Medicine Virtual Tour. In this video, a group for our current resident will take you on a virtual tour in the hospital while sharing their experience with you at Ascension St. John. We hope this is helpful for you and for anyone interested in this program. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to the interviewees for the Ascension Internal Medicine program. My name is Sarah Samayan. I am a PGY3 resident in internal medicine with an interest in cardiology. Why Ascension St. John's? So before I started my residency here as a medical student, I actually did two of my rotations at St. John Hospital and I immediately fell in love with the program. Um, you know, in, right from day one, I just saw how friendly of a community we have here. Um, there's always someone to help you if you need it. Also, as a community program, it also has multiple fellowship programs. So uh, there are a lot of learning opportunities, a lot of opportunities to subspecialize should the interest arise later. Um, so yeah, those are really the reasons that attracted me here. What would you tell future residents? There are a lot of reasons to want to come to Ascension St. John Hospital. Uh, for a start, we are a level one trauma center. Um, we are a stroke center as well. And because of our location, we get to see a very diverse patient population uh, with a very wide array of pathology. We have mostly internal medicine fellowships for those of you who want to pursue further training uh, in fellowships. And we do have our own dedicated research department with our own IRB uh, that will help you in your scholarly and research pursuits. But really most importantly, and I want to stress this, um, you know, you will be in a community of a very supportive residency um, community. Uh, our residents and our faculty will have your back. They'll be with you every step of the way. Um, and this they will make this a very enriching and very enjoyable experience. And for these reasons and many more, um, I strongly recommend this program. Well, we are in the physician's lounge right now. Uh, I consider this to be the heart of the hospital. Uh, this, is, this is a place that's accessible to residents, uh, to attendings, mid-level providers. Um, and this is really where we meet with our attendings and resident teams to go over our patient cases uh, and to plan out their management uh, care plans for the day. A lot of people like to come here as well to catch up on their charting. Uh, maybe get some readings in. Uh, sometimes they want to come here to get their early morning coffee or tea just to get a jump start on your day, like one of our residents here. Hey, hello. And here we have our IT department, uh, at least where the IT department is usually set up. Uh, they're available every day uh, to help you with any technical issues you may have, uh, especially with your assigned devices that you get an intern year. Hi, my name is Sana Jaffrey. I'm a PGY2. So I chose Ascension St. John because of location, autonomy, and the sense of community that I get here. So Michigan is a perfect mix of a good sense of nature. You can go up north, there's great lakes around, and then you also have an upcoming city like Detroit. St. John specifically is located in between three cities and you have all sorts of patients. Your patient population really vary from a white collar to a blue collar and even patients from a very low socioeconomic situation. So you really see pathologies from various different people and how socioeconomics really take part in medicine. So now we're going to do a tour of the residence lounge. We'll start here. We have a TV and multiple game consoles for when you're done rounding and have some free time. We have lots of seats and chairs available for everybody. We have a fun pool ball table. Um, also, when you have some spare time, this is really our residence lounge. It's our home base. Here we have a small hydration station next to some computers and chairs. Over here we have a small kitchen, a fridge, and a freezer, a coffee station, eggs that are stacked in the morning, fruit, and some snacks. We also have a whiteboard with some table and chairs for teaching rounds, pre-rounds, post-rounds, discussing patients. And the best part of the residence lounge, the most convenient part, I'll show you outside. Excuse me. Oh, oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> so the best part, our call rooms and lockers are located right outside. Let me show you. We have rooms, even for medical students, interns, seniors. So this is a little example of what a call room looks like. It's small, but it's comfortable. You have a bed, clean sheets every day, a table, a light, a phone, which really comes in handy, and a bathroom. The 
credentials and we work hard here so it makes everything comfortable. So I hope I was able to show you a little bit of the resin stand, our call rooms and our lockers. It's just a small part of most of the time where you'll be spending in your residency. It's comfortable, it's convenient, and it's really made for us. So I hope that this was a little snapshot and good luck. Hey guys, are you ready for the IMSC tour? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Hello, I'm Thomas Loss. I'm a PGY2 here at Ascension St. John Hospital. Uh, still undecided, I'm, I'm considering uh, possibly specializing in Hemonc or uh, going the primary care route at this time. So I chose Ascension St. John because uh, I actually did my uh, sub eye here and I was really impressed with the atmosphere. Everybody here is really friendly, great learning environment, uh, always willing to answer questions and go above and beyond and helping uh, everyone out. Um, just a great overall experience on my sub. I just really made me want to come here after that. So I have several memorable moments, but uh, one is always uh, coming up is uh, me being in the ICU and uh, having a, a younger patient there and talking with his family and having to deliver bad news. I mean, nobody wants to do that. And just uh, having that experience really prepared me for any uh, tough conversations. And I really appreciate that experience. So this is the IMSC clinic. Uh, this is where we get a chance as residents to learn uh, outpatient medicine. And it's a great setting. Uh, we have 17 uh, fully stocked rooms, everything that you'd need uh, for physical exams and to see uh, patients in the outpatient setting. Uh, we have great staff that works with us, MAs that help provide uh, vaccinations for the patients. We have lobotomists on staff that help uh, do blood draws. We have uh, the attendings here that help supervise us uh, when making uh, assessment and plans for patients. So it's really a one-stop shop. And uh, we're conveniently located right next to the hospital in case there's any emergency that needs uh, emergent care. We can send them right to the emergency room. And then uh, if there's any specialists that need to be uh, referred to for the patients, they can always just go right upstairs and everybody's right in the same building. So it's very convenient for the patients and it's very convenient for us as uh, residents as well. All right, guys, let's continue the tour. All right, here's where we have the vaccinations located. And then over here is where our MAs sit. Uh, so if you ever need questions, this would be the place to go. If you need point of care testing, immunizations done. And then over here we have a board we use to communicate with the MAs. This, you just use the little button here. You put it next to your name lets the MAs know that you need a procedure or you need a vaccination or anything done. All right, and then let's continue on into the office. So we have a pretty good sized office. This is where you're gonna be staffing with the attending. This is uh, where you'll have your computer. You'll be working at a station. You'll be working up your patients, reviewing charts. And then over here is where we have our mailboxes. This is used by front staff uh, to communicate uh, different uh, issues of patients forms needing to be filled out, that sort of thing. All right, and then if you come this way, this is where uh, a lot of uh, the staff that's working behind the scenes to make sure that the clinic is running smoothly. So if you ever have any questions as far as uh, with nursing, with billing, with uh, scheduling, it would all be done up here. All right, guys, so that's the end of the tour of the IMSC clinic. Uh, wish you guys the best of luck in the application process. Hey, how are you doing? My name is Omar Al Sheikh. I'm one of the PGY3 residents here at St. John. I'm interested in general internal medicine. Here we are in clinic. Let's get to the medical floors. So I picked Ascension St. John Hospital to do my residency at, mainly because of its location. Uh, the hospital is placed in between three main cities. You're in between St. Clair Shores, Grosse Point Park, and Detroit, Michigan. So you get a multicultural patient population where you get to see a range of pathologies that I felt would make me a great internist, and that's why I chose to come here. So actually, your, your typical day here at the hospital is really structured in the sense that we have our morning report and noon conference. These are both your teaching, the, you know, your structured educational time where you have an hour each. Early in the morning, you know, we come, we see our patients. Then after that, you start with morning report where you are lectured by attendings, different specialists, even residents who are presenting interesting cases. After that, you go see your patients, you go on rounds. Uh, it's very enjoyable actually most of the time. Afterwards, you either place your orders or write your notes and then we have noon conference where once again, we have another hour of teaching. Sometimes we go through questions, sometimes we just go through interesting topics, sometimes we have a journal club and go through interesting uh, articles and actually discuss them. 
After that, then it depends really on what rotation you're on. If you're on an elective, then you might have some more free time to do more modules. If you are on ICU, you might be, you know, following your seniors or doing procedures in the ICU. If you're on the medical floor, then you might be either completing rounds or just seeing your patients and making sure they're stable. All right, let's get started on our virtual tour of the floors. So we have many different areas here in the hospital. And during your rotations here or during your work here, you will see many different specialties and many different patients because of the pathology we see here. Now, as an example, currently we are in the North Tower. The hospital also has another two areas here that are the East and the West areas. So the East and West are more of our older parts of the building. The North Tower is more renovated, newer. This is where we keep our cardiology floors. This is where the oncology floor is. The other floors also, I mean, you have many rotations there. That's where our ICUs are. And they're also highly renovated for patient care. And one of the other benefits of working here at Ascension St. John Hospital is that we have excellent ancillary staff. So that ranges from our nursing staff to our phlebotomy teams to our lab and pathology teams. Really anybody who needs your help, who need their help in patient care is there for you. Uh, we rarely draw labs. We use phlebotomy draws all our labs. Only if needed, they'll ask us to because we're trained to do it with ultrasound. Otherwise, they do their own thing. Now, there are nursing staff here is excellent. They are dedicated to their patients. They're dedicated to patient care. They're very compassionate and kind. And that really you know, goes hand in hand with what we're trying to do here as residents and as internal medicine physicians. Now, the majority of our beds here in the hospital, this is a 700 bed plus hospital, are internal medicine beds. And we really are the backbone of this hospital in regards to patient care, census of patients, and taking care of them overall. Now, we do have many other specialties that aid us in their care, but uh, we really are the ones who are putting this hospital together and keeping it moving forward. All right, so I'm gonna show you an example of one of our patient rooms now. So, obviously here, this is the North Tower room. As you walk in, you get a nice view of the city and you get some look outside. Over there, you have Girls Point Park. Uh, here we have our patient bed. There's one of our cardiac telemetry monitors. So actually the patient is hooked up to this, you get a good idea of their vital signs. There's our thermometer, you have suction, oxygen, everything you really need from you know, the general floor medicine care. Here the patients have their own private bathroom as well. Uh, here you have your sink to wash your hands, and uh, this is, you know, in general, this is where you'll be managing most of your patients. You'll be seeing them taking history from the mirror and doing a lot of care from bedside. I hope this was a comprehensive tour of our medical floors and hope you enjoyed the rest of this. Goodbye. Look who it is. Hey guys, I'm Peter Bashar. I'm a third year internal medicine resident and we're gonna go see the medical ICU. So we're in the medical ICU. This is where we learn to treat the most complex medical diseases and where we save lives every single day. I've always liked critical care. So finding a place with a strong ICU program was important to me. You finish your ICU months here feeling very comfortable taking care of the sickest of the sick. And we perform life-saving procedures every single day. I always tell people, if you've heard of it, we've done it. So I think really anyone would be hard pressed to find stronger ICU training in residency. In a word, these people are like my family. You spend the better part of three years here and everyone knows that residency is no walk in the park. So having the right group of people around you really does make the biggest difference. You know, we spend a lot of time in the hospital and we still hang out with each other outside of the hospital. So I think that says a lot. We're in the medical ICU right now. It's a 20 bed unit plus two beds for ECMO. It is a closed unit and together with the intensivist, it's run by both fellows, residents, as well as the nurses. Um, on top of all of that, we do have a state of the art sim lab here in the medical ICU, where you get to practice complicated medical procedures under the guidance of ultrasound, um, as well as mannequins to practice your skills on as well. On top of everything, you do get to run the rapid responses for the entire hospital, which is a great learning experience that we have here. This is the sim lab here. As you can see, we have various rooms. The first one we're gonna be walking into is the mannequin simulation room. Come along with me in here. So in the back here, we have Stan. This is our simulated mannequin where we practice our rapid responses and cardiac arrests on. Um, he has various features to help us do that. As you can see, there's a cardiac monitor, there's a full um, crash cart available for us, and in the back, there's a one-way uh, glass where there's an attending sitting behind there, and he helps to sort of supervise and guide you through any given scenario so that you're practicing on the simulated mannequin before we throw you into the shark tank. Um, so it's not like you're gonna be practicing on a person before you 
hit this area. As luck would have it, they are currently running a sim lab and they're teaching some of our residents how to do specific procedures. So we have some intense stuff going on. I'm gonna show you guys right this way. On this side of the room, we have three procedures going on. Uh, over here, they're practicing their paracentesis. In the back, they have lumbar punctures. And in the very corner over there, you can see they're doing ultrasound-guided thoracentesis. So that's just three of the things that we do here. And on the other side of the room, we've got even more. Follow me. This is the second part, the second room of our sim lab. And in here, they're practicing central lines, again, under ultrasound guidance. This is where they're practicing central lines under the supervision of one of our uh, senior residents and chiefs uh, this year. So as you can see, they're doing it under ultrasound guidance and um, looks like they're having a good time with it. Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Swisher. I am a third year resident here in the internal medicine program at Ascension St. John's Hospital. Uh, my area of interest is cardiology. For me, Ascension St. John's, um, the way I picked it uh, in my uh, quest for residency is that I knew that uh, I wanted a, a bigger hospital, um, and I think Ascension St. John's really filled that. I came from a smaller community-based hospital, but I still really enjoyed that community-based feel. Um, I think here you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get a lot of uh, volume uh, uh, in patient base. You also get a lot of interesting pathology, but you also still get um, quite a bit of um, uh, personal care and attention and everyone kind of knows each other here. I guess the best way I would say to describe the culture here at Ascension St. John's is one of uh, inclusivity as well as welcomeness and um, I guess warmth and friendliness. Um, uh, for me, I really enjoy this place because uh, from day one, I was never afraid to ask any questions. No one has ever berated me, um, whether I'm talking to a fellow colleague at 2 in the afternoon or I'm calling an attending physician at 2 in the morning. Um, everyone has been very helpful and very supportive um, in my role in helping to take care of patients. Uh, let's go ahead and take a tour of one of our cath labs that we have here at Ascension St. John's. Um, you'll actually see here, this is the uh, control room where all of the um, recording and, and uh, patient data is, takes place. And if you come this way, we have uh, a fully functioning uh, cath lab with uh, C-arms and um, different uh, catheters involved. A lot of the different procedures that we do here, uh, more than just the standard left heart cath, we also do the right heart cath, and we even have uh, TAVRs, as well as um, uh, ECOS and ECMO is also built in and done here. We have other things such as uh, pacemaker placements, as well as uh, cardiac ablations. Um, currently, in total, we have five different cath labs with uh, two cath labs for specifically for uh, electrophysiology. This is the CVICU. I wanted to give you guys a quick tour. I probably assume that you've already seen the MICU at this point. Um, we have our own specific um, ICU for uh, cardiovascular intensive care, uh, as the name would imply. Um, a lot of the different procedures that we do here are uh, things uh, of helping manage uh, the post post cath complications, um, things such as uh, uh, ECMO. We also deal a lot with um, balloon pumps as well as uh, impeller placements and kind of helping managing the floor both at, uh, at night and during the day. Um, we, we really work closely hand in hand with uh, our fellow cardiologists and even our fellows in the cardiology program. So uh, let's go take a quick tour right now. So this, uh, this unit is actually a little smaller than our MICU. We have roughly about uh, 10 beds here. Um, these can be used by anyone from uh, the CT surgeons who are doing uh, open hearts or coming to us. Also by anyone, uh, any cardiologist who feels that they need uh, more closer monitoring after a catheterization procedure. Uh, the other things it can also be used for is what we like to call a, uh, MICU overflow. Um, so any patient that comes in um, and we don't have enough room in the MI, we can sometimes put them down here. Um, a lot of other things we do down here is, um, like I said earlier, managing impellas, uh, balloon pumps, and uh, even you know, treating patients in cardiogenic shock. Um, one of the things we like to do here as residents is also help with uh, any codes that go off in the building. So we're responsible for covering every place in the entire hospital except for the emergency department. Um, just like our other MICU and other intensive care units, we are very, very hands-on and very responsible directly for our patients' care. Um, uh, when you're down here, you're also expected to be able to do um, central lines. 
You're also expected to be able to do um, many art lines and assist any of the cardiology fellows in their procedures. Um, you may be asked to help out with a uh, transvenous pacing. Um, you may also be asked to do some fit calculations and uh, do some other things of that nature. And rounding out the uh, rest of our tour here of the CVICU, uh, I want to give you guys a quick peek at the resident room. This is the room kind of where we uh, sort of all congregate in between all of the ICUs. And we run the list with our different cardiologists. Come on this way. We run the list with our different cardiologists and our um, fellows. Um, kind of things where we uh, like to discuss like privacy information and uh, give sign out. Um, one of the cool parts about it is it's, uh, it is locked, so not, ev not just everybody has access. You're very safe to leave your laptops and your computers here, as a lot of people do. We also actually have a whiteboard. Uh, actually, let me show you this real quick. And then, um, let's see. Oh, hey. Hey, Jess, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? Oh, doing all right, doing all right. Uh, I'm giving these guys a quick tour of the CVSU. Uh, I'm almost done. Um, I was going to get some coffee afterwards. Do you want to come? Yeah, let's go to the guild. All right. Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Misich. I'm a PGY3 here in the internal medicine residency program and right now we're sitting in the Guild coffee shop. So I chose Ascension St. John for a couple of different reasons. Um, one of the reasons was um, as a medical student here I uh, learned a lot of things and this was a really busy hospital and we um, got to see a lot of different cases which were really interesting. So I knew I would learn a lot at this hospital but more importantly, as a student, I felt really welcomed here. They always encouraged our participation, whether it be in events outside of the hospital or um, even inside of that hospital, and I felt really comfortable with the attendings. They were always um, willing to teach us and make sure that we were able to get all of our questions answered, and it just seemed that they really had our best interest in mind, so that's why I ended up choosing to stay here at Ascension St. John. This program supports us as interns because they pair you up with mentors that are interested in the same thing that you're interested in. So for example, I'm interested in outpatient medicine and my mentor was Dr. Zacharias. So we met with her frequently and she was able to answer any questions and give me advice on how to be able to pursue my dreams as uh, doing outpatient medicine. Also, we were paired with resident, um, senior residents that were able to help guide you in any way as well. And that's always nice having another resident there to be able to answer your questions or if you had any difficulty with anything. I had a great relationship with my mentor. She always uh, made sure that I was doing okay. She had meetings with me and we actually went out for dinner a couple of times and that way we got to know each other on a closer level and you just feel more comfortable knowing that you have somebody there for you. All right, now let me show you what really matters. Where to get the coffee? So this is the guild and we'll usually stop here every morning before our morning conferences. And here you can get breakfast. They have bagels and pastries. They have energy drinks and little snacks. Um, you can get your coffee here. It's Starbucks coffee, which is nice. And then in this section here, they actually have food at night. So this is really important when you're on your nights or you're on ICU. It opens up at 11 so you can come get your meal for the night here. And here are all your pastries that you can order. And then we have all of our coffees here. And then we use our meal cards here so we can swipe this and um, these will pay for all of everything here basically, all of our coffee and all of our snacks. Oh, grab your food you can sit down and eat here and let me take you over this way to where you can get your food so here's our cafeteria they serve a lot of different options so if you have any dietary restrictions in any way uh, if you're vegetarian or anything like that you can come get basically anything that you could possibly want there's um, sandwiches here
sandwiches or they have entree type meals where you can come get um, different types of meals. They usually change it every so often. This is the end of the virtual tour. I hope this tour was comprehensive and answered all of your questions. There are many programs where you can get your IM training. When choosing a program, remember to pick a place that will welcome you, support you, and push you to become an exceptional doctor. And if this place is Ascension St. John, we'll see you in a couple of months.